Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from the SUP company. And today I'm going to compare the 13.2 and 12 foot 6 Voyagers from Red Paddle Co. So here we are with a comparison of the Red Paddle Code 12 foot 6 Voyager and the 132 Voyager. Um, by way of comparison, well, let's forget the features for the moment because these boards are identical bar one thing, which is this additional female uh, mount in the deck here uh, on the 132 Voyager. But other than that, they're exactly the same. Um, the true difference is, and the reason for the comparison video, is in the length obvious that one but it's the width and then the overall outline shape of these boards and that makes them paddle on the water very very differently from one another um, so much so that it's hard to believe they actually share the same name but look the 12 foot 6 voyager really really popular board works very very well for paddlers of say 150 kilos plus including kit and everything else on those lines uh, and it is exceptionally stable. And that's one of the key differences between these two boards is the 12 foot 6 Voyager is 32 inches wide. And the 13 2 Voyager is 30 inches wide. That makes the 12 foot 6 Voyager much more stable than the 13 2. But that's not to say the 13 2 is unstable. It's not. But if you are new to the sport, if you're progressing onto your second board and you're looking for a more touring shape, while retaining a good level of stability, the 12 foot 6 Voyager is a really good choice. But that width does start to work against you after a while, particularly when you move on to a longer shape board like the 12 foot 6 Voyager, because it means you can't get the paddle any nearer the center line. With a reduction in width to say 30 inches like you have on the 13.2 Voyager, it means that the paddle is moving nearer to the center of effort on the board, and that effort and energy is moving nearer the center line, as I say, and it's just going forward. It's proving to be more efficient. There is also a reduction in overall wetted surface area, so that's affecting drag on the board. But because of the additional length of the 13.2 Voyager, it glides more. And I would say anywhere between 10 to 15 percent more glide you will get on a 13.2 Voyager than you will on a 12 foot 6 Voyager. The 12 foot 6 Voyager as well as overall outline shape is much fuller. You'll find it much wider and fuller in the forward nose sections and you'll find it carries its width quite far aft and that just makes it feel, compared to the 13.2 Voyager, big I guess, a bit stickier in the water but nonetheless still efficient but just stickier than the 13.2 and it's just the additional glide that you get in the 13.2. The downside of the 13.2, if you like, being at 30 inches wide, well, is it's less stable than the 12 foot 6 Voyager. So if you are looking for something that you're looking to progress with over time uh, as your skills improve and, you know, on the whole, everyone pretty much improves in stand-up paddleboarding pretty quickly. But as you improve, you'll find the 13.2's got more room for that, more room for growth for you, more room for progression for you as a paddler. And as a result, it proves to be a more rewarding board to paddle. The other thing you'll find as well, the 13.2 Voyager, is because it's quite square on the tail, but it narrows, is it releases from the water that little bit nicer than the 12 foot 6 Voyager. Um, and it, overall, it just feels like it wants to go that little bit more and particularly if you're paddling distance if you're you know while camping you got a load of kit on the board you know and you are going to kind of knock out a fair few miles to a camp spot overnight that kind of stuff yeah it's just going to happen a lot easier and a bit quicker as a result um, the other thing that i personally really like about the 13 do voyager is when paddling with little people if there are kids and stuff that you've got in the family and you want to cover a bit more distance, it's easier on a 13.2. One, because there's a little bit more real estate in terms of the overall length of the board. So there's more room and places for people to sit. My son um, used to sit at the back and fall asleep on a couple of occasions uh, on the back while I was up the front paddling. And it was just easier for me as a paddler 
on a hold to just get the whole board going and keep the momentum up. On a 12 foot six, it just felt a little bit sticky as a result. But look, if you are a paddler out there, you are looking for a stepping up from say a 10 foot six ride from Red Paddle Co, your first venture into touring boards, the 12 foot six Voyager with its 32 inches width for stability is a really, really good choice. If you're after a board though that's gonna give you a little bit more room for progression uh, and prove to be a little bit more rewarding in time, but perhaps initially a little bit more of a challenge, then the 13.2 Voyager is the way to go for sure. Either way, if you're local to us uh, here in Southampton in the UK, well, both of these boards are here available to test at our shop test center in Southampton. And the river's right behind the shop and they're yeah, happy to put you out in the water so you can see the differences for yourself. If though you want more details on each of these boards though, they have their own videos on our YouTube and Facebook channel, so go check those out. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesupco.com. To subscribe and stay up to date with all of our videos, make sure you hit the button up here. But to see the next video, well, take a look down here.